Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Prospect Central 101. My name is Chris, and today I'm joined by Lucas Anderson. Uh, unfortunately, his audio doesn't really want to work well today, uh, so he's just going to be sending me some stuff via Messenger, and we can get his opinion going through that. Uh, so, today, uh, we are going to be watching some Maurice Hurst. Uh, I'm a Michigan guy myself, so I've seen a lot of this kid over the last couple of years, particularly the last two years. Uh, and he's definitely someone that is going to appeal to a lot of teams for a lot of different reasons. Uh, so, going over a little bit of background here, he's listed at 6 foot 2 to 80. That might be a little bit low. Uh, he'll probably put on a little bit more weight before the combine. Uh, and he is a fifth year senior. Uh, he's one year starter, although he did play a lot in rotation in his fourth year as well. Uh, it just, we had so many guys in that draft class last year with Wormley and Taco uh, on that defensive line. He didn't really get called a starter. Um, other things to note. He did accept an invitation to play in the Senior Bowl, however, he did have to back out because of injury. Uh, he did play in the bowl game versus South Carolina, uh, so if you guys are looking for more tape to watch after this, uh, definitely feel free to check out that one. But for now, uh, we are going to be watching most likely all three of Penn State, Wisconsin, and Minnesota. Uh, so, Lucas, you got any other thoughts you want to throw out there first before we get started, or? Cool. Let's just get right into it then. Uh, so, first up here, we have the Penn State game. Uh, oh, okay, that's nice. And uh, one thing that I want to point out about this is in this game, uh, in particular, uh, his main role here is really just to watch Saquon. Uh, Penn State runs more of a college-style offense uh, with a lot of zone-type plays. So his main responsibility was really shutting down the interior and making sure that Saquon couldn't blow stuff up. Uh, we're going to see him here. He's going to be 73. And, oh, that's the highlight play. Rip. I should have known that because the first place is touchdown. Uh, lined up here at 3-tech. Probably his best uh, pro position to play, I would say. At least from a size standpoint. Oh wow, did he actually touch him play? Here you can see him lined up at 3-4 end, uh, which is, if you're going to be a 3-4 team, it's something to look at and consider. And as a result of that, the Saquon went through. Which is generally why Michigan seems to play him at nose. Good penetration there, ball get off, and then he just slams him. Oof. And shot was singing his arms, says Lucas. Not exactly a bull rusher, which is something that I like to see a lot with defensive tackles. He's not going to be a guy that really powers through. He's not going to be Damian Harrison. He's not going to be a Aaron Donald type of guy. Stunt work. Again, took McSorley on that play. And just no one behind him. Long misses the tackle. Touchdown for Saquon.
there we see nose on the zero, so again, it speaks to that versatility uh, of his. I don't really like him as a nose, though, at the NFL level. I'd like to have seen a move of some kind. He's a 3 or 5 in the NFL, Lucas says. Yeah, I would have to say so, especially judging by his size. I could also possibly see him being a 1. Uh, if he's able to put on a little bit more weight, uh, he is a block eater, not really necessarily a block shutter like I want in a 3 tech. Oh, lost a bit of leverage on that play it looked like. Of course, it sorely sucks. Came back, yeah. So he's actually lined up at nose, uh, and then they run him into the right guard, or the left guard, I mean. Looks like he's not really able to shed the double team. Again, lined up at nose. Gets a little bit more push on that particular play, uh, unfortunately. Saquon like blows through it anyway. Didn't get any extension, says Lucas. Yep. The one thing I want to see more of from Hurst that I've noticed, and this is not only just from this tape, but even throughout the year, uh, I do, if he is going to play 3-tech, want to see a little bit more of a moveset, uh, especially if you're a pass rusher. He does seem to get good penetration, uh, and you see it on that particular play, he, he can really get through guys, uh, but he can't really get around them. Splits the attempted double team nicely. And shove holding the point of attack, Lucas says. Screenplay, unfortunately opposite side, so he can't really do much there. A lot of notes in this film, exactly. Uh, I think that that was by design because you're seeing a lot of these 335 looks. Uh, with Kalike Hudson in that Viper role that uh, Jabril is famous for, for making famous last year. But I do think that it, the one thing that, that really stood out to me is it shows that he plays what he, he has to. Uh, and the way that Michigan uses Hurst is not going to be the way that he's probably going to be used to the NFL level. Uh, Michigan really used him as a block eater uh, and a, he, a very do-your-job type of, type of mold. Uh, and you see it there attracting the double team. He's, he's more of an attract attention, free up the linebackers, uh, and, and that's one of the reasons why Devin Bush is a player uh, for Michigan, is because of what Mohurst is able to do uh, in, front of, in front of him. I 
I, I feel like that's one of the reasons why uh, Hearst, or why Bush, rather, was so successful this year. Just that bug off again. To watch him sorely on the fourth and long. I wasn't swinging it. on that play, forcing overthrow. Where that's something I want to see a little bit more at the next level is on this particular play here. This by both the guard and the tackle, he needs to try that double team. He's supposed to just slide through, have Rashad Gary one on one with the RT, and then Bush is supposed to come through as a free rusher. So, normally, what he's supposed to do on this play is he's supposed to hopefully. But at least extract the guard and the center to both carry him in the middle. Unfortunately, on this particular play, that didn't exactly. uh, So, this is probably more of a negative play from Hurst uh, because Devin is not able to get it free. Fortunately, he his hand up and he took to make a play on the ball. Again, he did exactly what he was supposed to do. And we saw it results in a hurry throw from Rashawn Gary. So what this is what I was hoping to see on the left. Is you're gonna see everyone blitz to the left side of the gun. He's gonna rush left, he's gonna rush left. Uh, and Rashad most importantly is gonna rush left. So what he does is he checks the center over to him wanting to come up that middle uh, and get in the force a what could have been a much worse throw there for me. So on that particular play, the outside run, and he's like, well, just shoot that one out of his And that's another thing that comes to the end there. Uh, but again, I 
at that double team. Uh, and in this 4 3 look, uh, to get that center uh, and, and use him to get through. Meanwhile, stick point is occupied by. And yeah, exactly what Lucy just said. He's going to be playing a black game role at the end of the level. He's going to be dead about the same problem. Yeah. And that's why people who for what it is like first look uh, don't really see a lot that he has. And he's like, even on this play, while I did represent him, watch what Mulhurst does here. And you know, like Lucas says, and it's like, he gets that good penetration and good ball get off right off the snap and he drives back. Unfortunately it opens the gap that's through. Um, but yeah, inside Lucas says he has to play there as well. So that again as well. Back this point up again too. So oh, this one's a little right. For some reason he's being one more. Um, but yeah, you're just gonna see pulse, so he explodes through that hole, and that's how you're gonna want to use him a little. It's so gonna want him to be able to shoot through those gaps and. and Unfortunately, it was another option play. Another thing I want to point out, oh, of course, these things are still there. So, uh, another thing I like about Purvis is his anchor. It's back at all. And most of the time, he's two, three, four yards back. Pocket. But you've hardly ever seen him get pushed back in. That is because of his, how excellent and quick his hand off. Checks the double. Just 
36 here. Yep. At the collegiate level. Everyone left is left. As a result, it freed them free up from there. So, again, on this particular play, his responsibility isn't necessarily to get to the quarterback. He's trying to move that guard over so that McCray can get inside. Uh, and that's exactly what happens. The same thing is able to finish them off. Another bit of a spin move here. A little bit quicker. Uh, and we saw it was a little bit more effective as well. Your question there. Yeah, look at this. Was good. Once the tackle they have a spin wing itself, I will throw that out there. A lot of defensive tackles the spin moves. So the fact that he uh, and can be polished extensively just had to teach from scratch. It's, it's a benefit. Got held heavily on that. And here's the face, at the very least. I want to break this card. Seeing they're getting double teamed, and even then, you only got forced to yard back. And they were really driving through. Go with a little bit of a rip there. Unfortunately, it didn't work. See his hands, or rather his arms, a little bit stronger. He can utilize that uh, underarm and get higher with it. him. Oh, we get there by Kaliga. So, uh, Lucas, you got any final thoughts based on the Penn State tape? I mean, just like thoughts about the, this game in particular, first initial impressions. Uh, and the next one you're really going to find something. Uh, 
this one you're able to use him the way that he should be. Uh, so uh, with that, of course, Penn State does come. So the game plan is a little bit different than say Wisconsin, which uh, is and more pro style scheme. Here versus Minnesota, and when this loads. Oh boy. That's not as funny. Oh, this is not normal. So anyway, uh, what we're going to do this uh, uh, Yeah, I, I really see him as more of a If you can really use him in one gap. The gap where he can occupy those double teams. He can, he can, he can. It's really just a matter of do you want him to and is that going to be what's best for him? Um, I will say right off the bat, what's best for him Nose tackle. While he can do that, he is definitely a nose tackle. Um, if or whatever, use him. Um, well, nose tackle type, you're probably, at least from a size perspective, you're probably looking at more of a rear bay uh, right from the end. Um, probably. Guy later on, uh, you might even better off on the right uh, oh, Please. Goodness grief. Okay. Well, that. There we go. Maybe. Cool. I don't have stone issues. I'm trying in the middle here. Just not able to get his hands on. And we ball get off. Trigger's trying to collapse there. This time ends up working, it looks like. Yeah, it ends up stopping him short here. I can still get the first back at all. Uh, that's something I, I really love. Uh, I think I have a double. That's it. I don't know why he didn't come through. 
Stunt. Oh, yeah. Um, he just never fully got around in the stunt. Okay, that's a bit disappointing. Anchor. He holds really, really well. Only holds, but like holds this, this line. Starting to sound like a broken record, but I don't think it's a constant player. Uh, he did get the, in, in contact with the guard there. Yeah. 
to hear on uh, the 79 here. Occupy the center, I want to say as well. 68. Jeez, just He's got raw power technique needs to be cleaned up. If you win it, uh, Lucas asks where he win it. Uh, that was, I believe, the Michigan listed way because he didn't win bowl or the Shrine game. Um, just the way that was listed on the breakdown sheet and at, at the for the senior bowl. Well, I should get the official numbers three way at the combine. Senior Bowl, yeah, that would have been really nice. That type of play is how he should be used. I mean, that's the kind of stuff, stuff that we see all year. Was there a swim? Well, here's a replay. I can open it from a little bit of a better angle. No. Just more of it. It was more of a full rush, if anything. So it looked like more of just pure power explosion and bulk it off. So much, I know I've said this a million times already. But his anger and his explosion, I think you're going to make a very. Uh, he has all the physical tools that you really do to get refined. Uh, and what, what I'm looking for, at least for myself, alignment uh, is I want to see the guys who have the burst, who have the. the Institution, have the motor, who have the intangibles, he's a very good leader. Uh, those types of things, who, who can do a variety of things. Who, uh, uh, like, like, if you're a defensive tackle, 
but you have shown me you at least have a move. You're fine to me. You can, you can be refined. Okay, I follow up. If you're a defensive tackle and you can't get up a lot, it's a little, a little bit heavy, but. And bam, like right there. So this is the kind of thing that I want to see. I don't know about you, Lucas, but. Um, Thing that I I really like what what he your team and you'll see the replay in a second but case okay. is if you're able to get him in I still gap in a one on one go through people. I'm not sure how much more weight this prick could hold. Yeah, I don't either. Uh, which is why he's more of a three tech. We're seeing why here. Uh, and look at it again. I mean, if you're checking him over, you're getting him, you're getting him to play that type of role. But like here, he should, and he was able to beat the guy. Like that's really what you want. That was a little bit of a move. I don't know if you want to technically consider it or not. Yeah, if you can utilize him in one on one situations as a pass pusher, stop her at three tech uh, and tell him that it's just a double run. That's pretty like that one. Um, it's really his goal to get to the pass pusher. I think he'll do a lot better than he is here uh, in this particular tape. I mean, we're always stuck in the too. But like there, same exact thing, just concentration uh, and really just explosion. Just said that. And that play actually showed three different guys in pretty bad screen. 
how he's projected at the end of the first. Um, at one point, he was as high as top 15. He's looking more like a 20 to 30 type of guy. A lot of people had him actually going to the Lions. At 20 spot. And just completely shuts the left guard. I'll take a move of some kind as well. Just get inside. This gap definitely has his. Sean has his. There's a one on one with uh, that's Tyree. Five yards back again. Probably the first time I've seen him push back more than one or two yards. That's when he gets off the block. So much. He's going to get a couple of yards. Shut down that, that gap. That was a great play by first. 
construction of our first look at the CI. Same thing there, just take that and force the break throw. He's fighting parts of three guys there. Bam, that was a little bit. Fortunately, he couldn't get to the corner broken up the play. Yeah. I had a little bit of help there on the tackle, but I didn't show a danger of the penetration. Oh my goodness. I actually pulled him off sides. Side though, he just shot it. Oh. Just even nicely, just jumped inside. Yeah, third and two, he just all. Oh. Unfortunately for the mission, he's going to break my hair cray. This is the backfield replay. Both run and pass play to the which is why I like the violence so much. Pocket collapser in the passing game. But he's, he's, he's making the ring back, changes his angles, changes his lanes, changes his reads. And in those types of things, not stop. Now, unfortunately, Michigan's outside linebackers are not there. It's here, here. Michael Cray is probably one of the worst linebackers in the Totally gay, it's not really a linebacker, it's so much just in, in the best state. But yeah, even that way, while the play wasn't even really that close to him, I mean, he's what, back again? He's just completely, well, punched well. 
like at least five yards back. Exactly, they've got him shooting for the A gap. Maybe. Let's put it back in the backfield. Of course, the double team and you just moved. For a guy at his weight, his, his lower body uh, very, very strong. Just collapsing the pocket. Originally, coverage up there. But tell us. Let's get him inside.
into the gun and just left in the pocket. Oh, nice. what? Almost got the pick. Good to see that. Interrupting passing lanes to say that because they can need what I was trying to. Disrupting. Disrupting passing lanes. right there able to get pressed on the inside. Sean Gary. Unfortunately no one's able to get did what he had to do. Check the double gave her son a one on one matchup. there collapsing anchoring well knocking once he gets down the field into the pocket it's minimal game Spread that play. Right, he needs to be attacking there. Saving his He's losing that. Leverage says absolutely. Uh, and you see that a lot. Balance, leverage, on his feet, anchoring well. Uh, and when he's able to attack, which is a lot of the time, uh, and when he's able to. Uh, I think that he's going to be at his best. He almost always wins a matchup with it. It's a leverage trail, he loses the, the rep. Yeah. That's exactly right. Damn. 
just explodes through. Bye. We're 15, uh, the chase, we wish. She comes through on the pressure group as well as able to finish. Damn, just shut it out. Unfortunately, losing an exterior play. And right there, he blows through the double team. That was a hand. He didn't make that read to the running back. That's the TFL for first. Nine times out of time. Same thing here. Just running back to change direction, change his lane. Nobody there to pick up. Shame. I have to actually go back and show you that. Well, on this play. Right here, that rock is left or to his right, bringing back straight. The defense is left. So, because this fix is so far deep, you guys have administration in. I mean, I don't know what Devin was doing there. I don't know what was happening. Oh, no, that's our favorite guy. Absolutely trash. Being just anger. I just played by Tyree to get the edge. Sean. I think I'll highlight my stunts. But he's the. Uh, he needs to be the guy that goes in first. I'll, I'll say that. That play got first out of his gap, although that one was right there to help him out a little bit. Back it up a little bit, yeah. Looks like is when he loses his. Yeah, he tries to to die here. Lucas is leveraged. Yeah, it's the inside there. Uh, unfortunately, he needs to do it on this play. As he needs to get his hands up and he needs to go straight. Uh, he needs to just force him back and and do what he normally does. Ups and, and force the running back to the outside. Unfortunately, he goes to the inside here. Throwing back their cross. Uh, he thinks that this play is going to the left. They're cut back the counter. Uh, and as a result, he's on. So that was more overreaction. Uh, poor. Reaction. You can see the old offensive guard get lower and pop him out of this gap. Leaky there. Got him right there, too. They're on the rush, right? Oh, that's just a beautiful play call. Time for Brown Carter would have called a rush, right? Jeez, though, Pete. The sack one. Wow. And yeah, we 
just jumped out. Yeah. Oh, okay. We'll get to see here anyway. So, yeah, we can see him get that one hand one with the, the right guard. And he's going to rush up uh, what right in the quarterback. Because what happened here is, again, I will say this over and over again. Just watch what Rashawn is doing. Rashawn Gary here is attention getting that double team and because it was no job on this play to get to the quarterback it wasn't him freeing up it wasn't him freeing up Monet it wasn't him getting attention from Wayne his job to get right to the quarterback and get that pressure for what he was able to do It seems like he wants to lose the leader. Lucas says exactly, yeah. You're just going to see him here. Oh, he actually has hands to his face, too. But yeah, he's just able to force him back. And I just... Almost immediately at the point of attack, he's... Yeah. That block well. Opportunity. And this was an average play. Very nicely pursued by Bush. Okay. So, actually, uh, I'll let this play out a little bit. Somehow he got free here. So he's originally oh okay the guard left him on the block. So he, the, what was the most telling? Take first two, uh, but first when when his bridge uh, on that play shut the center. He saw he had to force the guard to come across, and he just I was fed. Team and bam, it's just anger. He is clearly getting double team there, and while he's not, he's not getting moved. He's like the literal bird. But the definition of anger in the dictionary, more he starts to have play. There. And, oh my goodness, he's still ended up getting his own. Yeah. Okay. So it's like the second of the day for Hurst. They're in 29 now. Look for a replay. Off to the center. The center tried to pass him off to the guard. The quarterback. With help from McRae. Oh man, second one, he just explodes through. And, uh, oh, unfortunately, got pushed out there. Checks the double. 
got to respect a little bit on that play at the very end. Ooh, a bit of a cut. Unfortunately, it's too slow, so it's not going to be able to do anything. It's a nice tackle. Oh, we're going to play by Kalike. I want to see him shoot through there a little bit more. On that play. Great play by Kalike off the edge, though. Oof. Covered being angry well. So I have no idea what he was doing. But it was really mean by Devin Bush. Pushing for that against the offensive lineman. Sixty-four wins player. Let me go back again to what was this play, right? So we see right here. That A gap, that right side A gap. And what his goal to do here is to free up Devin to shoot the C. Uh, and number two uh, to get it. And because of that, Devin, and as fantastic as he is, right there to seal that gap. But Craig gets off of his block. Bam. That's just doing his job and freeing up them to make that. Now, what I could also show you um, is if it is Moher's job to win that, win that snap. Oops. What he can also do is he can also that guard straight back. If he needs to, several times before, if he's not trying to win to that inside, straight across, he's the guy that's ending up right there. And it's going to be his job to shut the block. Now, because this works, it was his responsibility to, to rush right and free up him to make the play, which he did. So that's just one of those instances where what might be not first from a statistical standpoint or whatever, it's, it's, it's his responsibility is to free up them and make that play. If that's how he wants to see you at the next level, he can do that. So, uh, Lucas, you got any thoughts on that one? On the uh, let's see again. He's got the best tool. He's got great leverage and he has just a really nice anchor. He's extremely powerful legs. My biggest concern is that he needs to play the goal to have a real impact. And I still think that his body doesn't match his skill set. His technique work, especially with his candy stitch. And that's what we can say. So, yeah, uh, a lot of that is exactly what. I, I, I would agree with uh, from watching a whole year the whole time here uh, and, and making a real impact on the defense. 
that's it. It's, uh, usually, this is leverage the enemy tools. Uh, the burst, the explosion off the ball, the ball get off. Things. I think for uh, very do uh, Powerful leverage. Yeah, and, and I think that that kind of goes along as well. Uh, his lower body strength is just super. But yeah, he, he is the guy who played three attack, and you want to use him a, uh, and you really want to establish with him from the get go, be his responsibilities. Because if you're going to tell him one play, the quarterback, one play, it's your job to get in coverage, one play, collapse the pocket, one play, like he's not a guy who's going to be. A and do everything from every position. Yeah. Like, to some degree, you're going to have to have your hand to check the if you get the one off one way. Like, if, if you want him, when you've got to get to the quarterback, you don't want him to be a double team. Uh, so it's, it's really going to be about play calling uh, and his, his role is in each individual situation. Third and long, you want him to be a pass rusher. You say go after the quarterback. That's your job on this play. Uh, if you want him to be a run third and short, then you tell him it's your job to stop. If you play, your job is to bring the running back down and out of the high line scrimmage. You need to, I think Vash calls it establish a plan. And that's really what you want to see more of from him. And a lot of that communication with coaches, uh, how he's going to get along with his coaching staff, players on the rest of the defensive line, communication is going to be a big uh, as well. If he can communicate really well with the guys, the linebacker, line for seven, uh, and put himself in the eighth position to succeed on each snap, uh, you're going to win more. Uh, I like him. In, uh, I think I'm not sure about the first look it says. Yeah, see, for me, I'm a little bit high. You know, homer bias here. Um, but I do like him in the first. Uh, I do think that if he goes to a system like Detroit with, with uh, Graciano or even Minnesota, okay, uh, I can see him being a great, great fit there. There's a, a, a few places I don't really like him as I thought I would uh, after watching that. I think if you want to make a story, you have a big impact just exactly. And that's, yeah, really what you're going for here. Uh, as if you want to be that, which it seems like is what you're really going for. Uh, that's what and bam! You got a guy like Lee Walter, just to deal with double teams. That's the one gap kind of trigger. You get, get deep in the pocket every play and And that will be his job, and that's what he'll do. Uh, there's, there's some places, like, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, the Chargers, for example. The Chargers looking for their, their tackle. If you like bring your knee bang, maybe it's like a, a, a nose. Be like that. That guy that just sits there. Play like a Damian Harrison type. I'm not sure really for him. Uh, he's not exactly a big. I'll put it like that. There's if you're getting a, a nose tackle type, although is more of a pass rusher than than Harrison. Uh, but if you're really looking for that that type of player, then go and get. Uh, then maybe that's more the type of guy that your team might be looking for. But if you're looking for a guy who's going to win those one-on-one -on -one battles, he's going to get that collapse of the pocket type of pressure. Uh, first point B for you. But I think first is a guy that you can put on a good defensive line and he'll be great. I can build a defensive line around. Yeah, exactly. Uh, 
course. Uh, I'll add that in there as well. Michigan was, was the huge factor here. Uh, he was the guy that was really big plays uh, that Mulhurst made for him. Mulhurst getting these blocks and, and, and attacking the middle to free that. Bush was a huge benefactor from that. Uh, so you're just going to be a key part of your defense if you're, if you're taking Mulhurst. Which is like Detroit and New England. Detroit with Jerry Davis and uh, New England has a power uh, to be those types of playmaking linebacker type guys. Uh, in Minnesota's case, you have the Eric Hendricks and Anthony Bars. If you can get a good linebacker behind him to clean up the mess and really those plays, uh, more first is your type of guy. So. Uh, definitely a, a good fit for terrible fit for others. Uh, so, and there was some people hate him and some people love him. Uh, the people that know him as a, a do your job when you're yeah. anchor is just really simple things. I say Mohurst is one of the best defensive tackles in this class. If you're looking for has five pass rushing moves, if you're looking for a guy who's you know, running back on every single snap, if, you, if you're looking for the flash, that's going to really revitalize the deal. And as Lucas put it, defensive line around, Mohurst is not going to be that guy for you. It's not going to be too playmaking uh, defensive tackle. Let's do it. Uh, so, any final thoughts uh, from you before we really wrap this one up? And, uh, and all this? Are you pretty much there? Thank you so pretty much. Uh, well, thank you again, Lucas, for joining me. Uh, a pretty unique uh, experience. Hopefully, you're on the next time we have to do one of these things. Um, Oh, cool. You got a different answer that you'll use next time. Awesome. Um, so, yeah, thank you again uh, for joining. Uh, it's pretty cool uh, to be able to do this. It's been a little bit different. I've been through it well, but it, it, it really worked out well. But I've seen some stuff well. So, uh, again, thanks for joining me. Hopefully, you had fun doing this as well. And, yeah, we'll hope to have you back again soon. Uh, so for that guys, thank you again for stepping up. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let's break it down a little bit different. But uh, hopefully you guys still learned a thing or two and uh, feel free to check out some of our other videos. Uh, so thanks again guys. Peace.